Om Namah Shivaya students. Today we shall learn English for class 4. Today we shall do an autobiography. First I shall tell you what is an autobiography. An autobiography is a self-written account of the life of a person, animal or thing. Now we shall learn the stu structure of an autobiography. F 1. Heading. Heading is a title for the autobiography. 2. Introduction. In introduction, we introduce our topic briefly. 3. Main body. We explain the topic in detail here. 4. Conclusion. Conclusion is the last part where we end our autobiography. Now, we shall learn about the elements of an autobiography. That means when you are writing an autobiography, these elements should be present you, uh, in the autobiography. That means you need to follow these when you are writing an autobiography. 1. Define the character. First, we need to introduce the character on whom the autobiography is. 2. Speak in the first person. An autobiography should always be written in first person. This means we should use I, me or mine instead of he, she, him or her. Number th 3. Plot. The plot is a vivid description based on personal feelings and opinions. 4. Purpose. An autobiography must have a purpose through which the author leaves a message for the readers. Students, your topic is a leaf. You need to write an autobiography on the topic a leaf. Now, I shall tell you an autobiography so that you can understand how to write an autobiography. And I shall tell you an autobiography of a rose. So, students, please listen to me very, very carefully. You don't have to write anything now. You just listen to me what I am saying so that it will be easier for you to write the autobiography by yourself. So, my autobiography is on a rose. I am a rose. I am a vibrant red flower. I bloomed in a small garden. My life will last only for a few days, but that doesn't worry me. I was born as a little bud in a garden. There were many flowers present around me. The gardener used to take care of me. One fine morning, I bloomed as a beautiful red rose. The gardener saw me and he smiled and praised me for my fragrance and rich color. A few days later, the gardener placed me into a tub and he sent me to a park. Now, I stay in the park to beautify its surroundings. Little children come to the park every morning and evening. They praise my beauty and often try to pick me from the stem. But I have thorns all around my body to protect me. They fear the thorns and they don't touch me. As days pass, I feel I have become very weak and old. But I am proud of myself. 
once i was brought to this beautiful place for my beauty now i am old but i am contented with all the experiences i have gained through my life students so this is an example of uh and how to write an autobiography you need to write an autobiography by using your own creativity and thoughts and your topic is a leaf i know you can write a wonderful autobiography by yourself and you know that you need to cover at least 10 points in your writing and always remember the elements of an autobiography when you are writing it and also the structure follow the structure very carefully when you are writing any creative writings so here we are done with our today's class om namah shivaya